Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Om Kara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Sagittarius, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Sagittarius, let's see what the messages are here for you. For one person I have the Three of Cups, King of Pentacles and the Star card in reverse. The other person hanged man in reverse world in reverse and the judgment card all right mutual energy spirit three of wands four of swords and the six of swords bottom of my deck uh, moon card in reverse was something revealed that the other person was probably in a third party or something or they were already in a commitment or something i think one of you has completely lost faith and hope in this connection the other person I think they are still hoping to get unstuck from their situation. They are hoping this connection hasn't totally ended. They can have another chapter. I think they do want a revival with the other person. They want a second chance. Uh, of course, I'm going to clarify all these cards for you and do the mutual energies. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards, um, Sagittarius. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll clarify these. Sagittarius and their person spirit. Sagittarius and their person. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Sagittarius and their person. Sagittarius and their person. Oops, that's too many. Okay, let's take them now that I have them. Let's take a few more from a third deck as well and then we'll clarify them. Sagittarius and that person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Sagittarius, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, somebody is looking at their clock and saying, how do I approach you after all this time? I think somebody, one person was waiting for maybe we can reconcile, maybe my person will step up, they will do the right thing, but they've lost hope and the other person knows that. They're saying, how do I approach you after all this time has gone now? Escape with me for the weekend. Oh my God. Nothing sounds good enough. Maybe that's what they kept doing. Maybe they were already in a commitment and they wanted these short, you know, sexapades with their person nothing sounds good enough I made a mistake after I found you I never looked back stop pushing me now I need to make my own choices when I close my eyes I see your beautiful face and beautiful smile the thought of you being with someone else really breaks my heart my mind is racing and my heart is breaking with the doubts and insecurities your inconsistent behavior has created. I crave inner peace right now. My soul just feels unsettled. I always chose you every damn time, every damn day. You say you want me, but your actions, they don't match with the words that have come out of your mouth. Damn it, I want you to choose me and show me that you mean it. I was there for you when you asked me to be and even when you were silently suffering, I heard your soul cry out to me asking for my support. I always showed up for you but when I needed you, where were you? The love that I have for you is a deep reflection of the love that I have for myself. I found all the fragmented broken pieces of myself when I met you. You mirrored my wounds so that I could look deep inside of myself and heal from within. The connection can feel out of balance when I try to reassure or overgive to you. I realize that I have to give to myself and that then you will master self-love. Aren't you tired of overthinking and being so hard on yourself? You can deliver yourself out of the pain, fear, frustration and you will see what I've seen in you all along. Oh God, you got too many cards. <laughs> when you ran, I felt like I lost my light and I plunged into darkness. 
my heart and even my spirit shattered into pieces i'm trying to heal surrender and trust in the divine plan but i fear i'll never feel the same again all and all these uh, messages are really flowing one into the other which probably means spirit wanted you to hear them i am willing to offer you an olive branch if i'm able to communicate with you i would gladly accept an olive branch from you i long for peace and i miss you after i found you i never looked back okay these are all done i think yeah all right so these were some of your messages uh, uh, sagittarius if these were resonating with your storyline let's start this reading but first i'm going to take an angel blessing card as well and this is going to be for the viewer now you could be watching sagis maybe your person is watching cross watcher so a blessing guidance advice or message for the viewer and you viewer get the card of commitment so either somebody is wanting a commitment with you but the spiritual message is that the lesson was to first and foremost commit to yourself you have to find that loving commitment to yourself first before you even expect it of another all right spirit now tell me let's start with person a's energy now this could be you sajis the other other line could be you so keep that in mind so person a Uh, three of cups in your feelings in your emotions yeah they got to know maybe that they the this connection blew up this connection blew up because they felt that maybe there was somebody else in the mix maybe person a is the one who got left out in the cold or left up got abandoned they felt that this is a unfair unjust kind of a situation it's an imbalanced connection no this can't be this can't be love uh king of pentacles king of pentacles somebody they thought that was going to be you know uh, their be all and end all who would you know be there for them for the long haul they realized that but that the person they gave so much of value or respect to turned out to be just maybe a playboy or who just wanted to flirt with them or something and um, i have a feeling uh, they have kind of lost hope yeah they felt they lost hope they lost hope they felt that no after maybe talking to the other person or something they realized that the other person was in it only for you know sweet times but not a long time um i think they felt there is no future here there is no i don't feel respected in this connection there is nothing to look forward to so i have to block this and uh, person a could have picked up themselves and now become confident of themselves maybe turn their back on this connection now no longer waiting around for this person totally committed i think to themselves now all right so person b you tell me how are you feeling now hanged man in reverse what's the hanged man in reverse i think they they are recognizing that the other person has gone silent on their on them and gotten unstuck because they were busy maybe with something else they are very disappointed they are very disappointed that why didn't i invest when i had the time i should have put in the work i think they do want to heal the broken heart that they've caused uh world card in reverse spirit world card in reverse spirit well i think i think this person was hoping that this connection would not end i think they're feeling rather lonely now uh they this is other person does was hoping i think for a revival of this connection yeah world card in reverse again i think they they felt that this maybe fight would end or they would get a second chance i think they are still kind of watching the other person maybe when they feel they lost their power but they are still watching they are still you know spying on the other person hoping that you know i can get a second chance they they've realized that they, they are in love with the other person they are hiding emotions and they are watching and somewhere they are hoping for a second chance and they i think do want to have a reunion with the other person So what about your mutual energies then spirit uh, for the first person who's lost hope in this connection now 
Uh, I think that person has already turned their back and maybe trying to see what else is out there. Yes, I'm not going to be juggled. I'm not going to be an option in anyone's life. I'm giving up. I think person A has totally taken a step back and thought long and hard about this and realized I have to cut this person out and move towards my own happiness. I think person, this first person who's lost hope is, could be now maybe checking out other options or something. All in all, I think they are just trying to move towards their own peace and happiness in their own life. And what about the other person, Spirit? What do these three cards mean for the other person? Uh, three of Wands for the second person, Spirit. I think they are, they are still hoping that maybe in the future, maybe in the future I can open up or, you know, I can come out of my stress and anxiety. Maybe this toxicity can go sooner or later. They're trying to convince themselves, I think, that it's just a delay. It's just a delay. Uh, maybe this person is praying, wishing, hoping they can still get a chance to fight for this connection. They are hoping to rush back towards person A sooner or later. They are scared. They are scared that, uh, that uh, I mean, this person is realizing that they played games and finally I think they became the loser because now they're recognizing they lost out on their biggest wish. They, uh, they know they need to come and apologize. This person feels that I made the wrong choice, I never stepped up. Uh, they're hoping that with an apology or something, uh, peace can still be restored and you guys can move towards a happier time in your life. Mm, so tell me about the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, they, they want to tell the other person that they made a foolish mistake and they are deeply unhappy. I think they are also a little unhappy because they are not sure whether the other person is even going to trust them. So, as much the reason they haven't come forward is because they are still stuck. They are st stuck, they are watching, they want to revive this connection, but somewhere they feel they've lost the trust of their person. What's the moon card in reverse, spirit? What's the moon card in reverse? One more. I think this is person B who's uh, now sitting in their sadness and depression and now seriously wanting or visualizing a future with the person that who, who they never chose in the past. Maybe in the past this person was standing at crossroads and not wanting to make a decision. Now they're recognizing that this is my soulmate. This is my soulmate. They want to put in the work. They want to uh, express themselves, not hide anymore. They want to tell the other person that I choose you. You're the only one I want. They want to put in the work. They really want to put in the work. And they want to tell their person that I see a life with you. I don't think they have the courage though, as now. This is uh, something that they've become clear about. But also they are now reminiscing or thinking about all the bad memories that have been created they're very burdened very overwhelmed so well that's what i have for you sagittarius till next time then love and light take care namaste